Alright, what's up insiders? I'm your host Eric. Welcome to Tech Inside. As I mentioned, it's the holiday season. People are buying stuff. And if you need ideas and whatnot, I made a $25 tech buying guide link in the description. But $25 can only do so much. What about $50? Well today I'm going to be showing you the tech buying guide for under 50 bucks. <laughs> getting started with some audio products because people love headphones and Bluetooth speakers. We have the Senti headphones for 40 bucks. These are over the ear headphones. They have a built in microphone on the wire. They look really nice. Look like they're going to sound pretty decent. For 40 bucks, I don't think you can go too wrong. But maybe you're not into headphones. Maybe you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker. So I got the Eaton Rugged Ruckus. This is a Bluetooth speaker that obviously will connect to your phone, will play music and all. But the twist is for 50 bucks, it has the speaker, it also has a solar panel on the top. So you can take this around, bring it to the beach, so it'll keep the device charged. It also has USB ports so you can plug in your phone and keep your phone charged, which is really awesome. But now with charging your phones and devices mentioned, I brought up a 1500 milliamp battery in the last 20 $25 tech buying guide, but it wasn't the most stylish product. So if you want to spend a little bit more money, get a little bit more of a stylish product, a little bit more battery capacity up to 2000 milliamps, you might want to take a look at this guy, the Power Bank by Vinsec. It looks pretty nice, looks a lot better at least than the other battery, and I think it's totally worth the 45 bucks. Moving on though, if you're a gamer, if you're into PC gaming more specifically, you'll know that your keyboard and mouse are very important and they can cost a lot of money. So I recommend you take a look at the CM Storm Devastator. This is a combo mouse and keyboard setup. So the keyboard is mechanical, has LED lights in the back, so it looks cool, it's pretty functional, and for only 30 bucks, you're getting a really nice deal. Carrying on though somewhat with gaming, virtual reality is potentially the future for gaming. Virtual reality is really cool, really awesome, I've used it many times. Uh, companies like Oculus are making these really awesome virtual reality glasses that really make you feel like you're in the game, but they cost a lot of money. But for only 45 bucks, you could buy the Incredisonic M700s. These are virtual reality glasses that you actually put your smartphone into, and then you open up an app, and it makes you feel like you're in a virtual reality space. Instead of having all the electronics separately in the device, you just use your phone. And there isn't a whole lot of like games or anything you can play with this, but you can get demos and uh, simulators that let you feel like you're in a game or in a helicopter or something. And for only 45 bucks, it's really awesome. Moving right along though, the things you put on your body, Ditto. Ditto is a piece of wearable technology for only around 35 bucks that clips onto you. And whenever you get a notification on your phone, then Ditto will buzz and it has custom vibrating patterns so you know if you get an email, you know you get if you get a text message. And this is great if you're bad with keeping your phone on you or you forget to check it, Ditto will remind you to, hey, check your phone. Moving right along, if you have an iPad and you want to use a keyboard, sure there are Bluetooth keyboards. I have my Apple Bluetooth keyboard that I can connect with my iPad and it's pretty reliable but there are still some times where you don't want to worry about changing the battery out or you don't have a reliable Bluetooth signal because of the room you're in. Well, Griffin Technology made a wired keyboard that actually works with the iPad, which is really cool. And it's only like 50 bucks, though with that said, it sometimes is a little more, so be cautious, it might be 60, don't hate me for that. Anyway, if you're into reading, reading more specifically actual books, there's the Oxy LED light panel. This is a little interesting light panel that kind of like almost levitates on your desk. It just has an octagon style dock and then the uh, LED light kind of just hovers above your book. But moving along, there's the Bluetooth Virtual Laser Keyboard. Now this keyboard's only 42 bucks, so it'll connect with your tablet, your phone and whatnot. And it projects a virtual keyboard on your desk or whatnot, so you can kind of type in midair and it's kind of cool. But now to mention something kind of fun, whether that's for your child or you just want to be childish, uh, there's the Anki Overdrive Toy Car. For 50 bucks, this is a little toy car that'll connect with your phone and you can drive around, have some fun. 
release the inner kid in you. But uh, yeah, that is the $50 tech buying guide. Hope you find some of these products interesting. Again, I'll have links down below if you want to check any of them out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below as I cannot talk. Anyway guys, my name is Eric, this is Tech Inside, and I'll see you in another video.